What's up guys, it's Ajo and some of you guys are probably wondering, can you run Battlefield 1? And that's the major question here because this is a huge game. So let me just get around the minimum system requirements for you guys. So you need a Windows 7, 8 or 10 and 9 if that was possible. And you need to have a 64 bit. So a lot of people want to play the game but they have a 32 bit. No, it doesn't support 32 bit, it supports 64 bit. And you need a FX6350. That's an AMD FX6300. You need at least a uh, Intel Core i5 6600 K you need that if it's not a, a AMD processor um, you need a, a AMD Radeon they talk about the 7850 the 2 gigs so you basically need a minimum of 2 gigs in that graphics card or you need a graphics card that is a GTX 660 2 gig so what I did I virtually made my GTX 750 Ti a uh, uh, 66 uh, um, a 660 2 gig so because they are so similar it was very easy to do that follow the software that I have and I made them similar so this is how it runs right now so in terms of how it runs you get probably 60 FPS as a cap when you're playing it on medium settings yes that's right everything you're seeing here is on medium settings I have a built-in feature in my in my monitor that gives the game a, a, a type of lighting that makes it look a little bit more crisp and stuff like that but this is the settings that I have it on everything is on medium every single thing that you can think of is on medium even the FXAA um, it's on medium also so everything is on medium what you see in there is medium gameplay and anything higher than that it starts to stutter I think it's because of the um, AMD the AMD, AMD um, processors usually choke out Nvidia graphics because they they are so good I guess but it's actually kind of choking it out I think it's kind of limited although you can play any game from dual core and up and it's supposed to run the same way that's the thing you can look up a video I probably have it in the description where Linus Tech Tips showed it they are playing Battlefield oh, 1 on a uh, dual core processor and Overwatch on a dual core processor and there wasn't any difference in performance it's just the graphics card that's really the main thing to help you achieve those high FPS so what you're watching here is basically a GTX 660 the minimum system requirements and a FX 6300 which I have I mean 6350 is not that much different so it'll perform most likely the same way as the i5 6600k so thank you guys for watching you can enjoy the gameplay I'm playing it in, a, in 16 by 9 16 by 900 aspect ratio that's the resolution of my monitor which i cannot really change unless i go in the nvidia settings and change it up but for the gameplay purposes and for showing you guys the minimum system requirements i decided to leave it that way and i'm playing it in window mood so enjoy thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe because i'll have some more battlefield one gameplay because most likely i'll be playing that for a whole month i don't believe i'll be going outside ever again because this game is too beautiful to, as, as usual, stay royal. We have lost objective butter. The enemies are being halted by our artillery.